Hey, VV Nation, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Love bringing these videos to your attention. And this is a hot topic. Now, because of ChatGPT and the investment that Microsoft has made into OpenAI for that ChatGPT, it has sparked an AI chat war. And the thing is, are you getting in where you fit in and are you making money in this particular space? If you're not, folks, we've done a video back on January 24th of the looked at some AI stocks for you to take a look at. And this is a little bit of a follow-up on just how much the wars have sparked up uh, as of right now in this space and why this is something you got to keep your eyes on. So this is the AI chat wars. The future is now. Now, next, let's talk about how AI is being utilized in our current society right now integration you're being able to put these ai chat um uh, apps into uh, apps on your phone or apps on your computer so the integration is already there you're able to use it the beautiful thing about it is the information that you can get from these chat gpts or these chat ai bots ai for those of you who don't know is artificial intelligence and the information that a computer can produce for you as composed to what, or as opposed to what a human can do for you is huge. The amount of time, the, the, just the, the amount of information that can be generated from you for you by an AI is incredible. And then the interaction, the interaction is fun part of it. So you have the chat GPT, which is open AI, which is not a publicly traded company, but Microsoft has put an $11 billion investment into the company, um, which goes to show they know something that we don't know. Do da do da. I don't know. But nonetheless, the investments are increasing in this space, driving the stock's prices higher. Now, again, open AI, you cannot buy directly, but at some point in time, whether it's Microsoft buys them or they go public on their own is something to keep your eyes on. So the information is there. The interaction is there that, you know, when you go to Google now and you type in something, it gives you a list of things to look for. But with a chat AI, uh, AI bot, it actually converses with you now it's doing it on a whole different level but nonetheless you're getting that integration integration you're getting that information and you're getting that interaction right then and there and this is a i want it now type of society and you're getting it right then and there so those are the ai usefulnesses now let's talk about why it's so hot artificial intelligence remains a hot area in the broader market uh, tech industry indeed many would consider ai and ai stocks prominent growth sectors right now and people want to always know what industry or sector should i be in no matter what the market's conditions are doing and i think whether we're in a recession or not this space is so hot that it can transcend more than just what's going on in the economy and what could be uh, bringing the economy down this is thanks to how AI empowers and enables the most cutting edge technology in the world today. AI is rapidly becoming one of the most transformative technologies of the 21st century. Just listen to that verbiage right there and asking yourself, wow, is this something I need to be in? It has quickly changed the way we live, work, and interact. AI has been integrated in so many industries. How about more and more companies are moving to um, production lines done by robots? All right. Um, AI has been integrated into many industries. This includes healthcare, finance, retail, entertainment, and has an impact on society and business has been substantial. With the growth of AI, it is not surprising that AI stocks have become popular among investors. Now, as you look at this, you have to say to yourself, is this a fad? Will it go away? Uh, I think that in the world of technology that we are in right now, in the leaps and bounds that we're growing, whether it's in our cell phones, whether it's in our computers, whether whatever it is, I think that this is not a passing fad. This is something that if you're not already into, you need to consider it. As well as companies that use AI to improve their operations and offer new products and services. Now, whether you are a seasoned investor or a beginner, AI stocks offer an opportunity to invest in high growth, innovative industry while potentially achieving attractive returns over the long term. Now, for any of you who think that I'm pumping anything, 
let the go do your homework go see and and the things that i've brought to your attention are the things that are out there that are showing why the space is moving i'm not pumping any individual stock as a matter of fact i'm going to give you an etf that can play the whole industry rather than trying to hone in on one specific stock now We've talked about the usefulness of AI. We talked about in my other video on January 24th, what AI was. And again, if you haven't seen that video, I invite you to go on our channel. Probably we're going to have it in uh, the comments down below or in the uh, description, that latest video on that uh, AI, on those AI stocks. Folks, we do the work, you reap the rewards. So between this video and that video, you will have a beautiful list of stocks to look at, to consider in the AI space. So now let's talk about the chat wars and the stocks that are taking part in that right now. Google Killer Chat BT GPT sparks an AI chat bot race all right that's the whole purpose of this video and this is right here on a website again as you know i do a lot of research before i try to put these videos together so this came from an article from the bbc news um sparks an ai chat but a chat bot race here it is google ceo issues a rallying cry in an internal memo all hands on deck to test their chat gpt competitor Bard. So chat GPT came out and man, it's taken off more and more people are using it. You try to get to the app and it says that, oh, we've got a high volume on here. You're going to have to wait, going to have to wait, going to have to wait. Keep trying it. You'll get in. And it's a fun app if you actually utilize it. It's got a lot of functionality and it can do a lot of different things. So Google is actively going after how hot chat GPT is. How about Microsoft? Now, this is interesting. Microsoft is the one company that made the investment the eleven dollar, oh, sorry, the eleven billion dollar, not eleven, not eleven dollars, eleven dollars. Man, I own it. But eleven billion dollars uh, schedules a mystery event for Tuesday as the company accelerates AI investments. OpenAI's Altman excited for the event at Microsoft headquarters again. Microsoft has made an eleven billion dollar investment in the company uh, OpenAI. All right, how about this, Baidu? Baidu leaps to 11 month high as it reveals plan to launch its chat GPT style Ernie bot. All right. So man, and then the stock that's just kicking butt and taking names. Everybody knows it. C3A ticker symbol AI. All right. Uh, jumps as investors continue to pour into AI stocks. And as you can see, these stories have been relatively recently done to show that I'm not going back in time and I'm not, None of that stuff, folks. Again, we do the work, you reap the rewards. I'm gonna do the research for you and then you make your own decisions. Now, let's get into the stocks that I have for you for this time. As I look at them, uh, Baidu is in here. Again, they've got, uh, they're working on a chat bot as well. Google's working on their chat bot as well. A, uh, C3 AI has just been kicking butt, taking names, but as of today, it's a pullback. That makes sense. This stock has been so hot, but as I look at it, I can tell that fundamentally the stock is not there all right, by relative value and relative safety, but all of these stocks, all of these stocks, because the space is hot, all of these stocks have relative timings above one. Microsoft, because of open AI, again, on the rise. And here is my ETF for you. If you don't want to specifically hone in on one specific stock, then here's a, a, an ETF called AIEQ. Uh, and it's got an RT of 1.16. Notice this as well, because the space is so hot, every single one of these stocks are a buy recommendation. All right, let's go graph these up real quick. Let's go see what's going on. I'm looking at just three and eight. All right, let's go throw some volume onto here and let's go put these on a three month graph. Here's the space Baidu uh, working on their chat, a uh, chat. Uh, bot as well. Big volume, nice move up today. Looking at three and eight. Google, uh, Google three, eight, uh, three and eight are still in place, but pulled back a little bit. Um, and I think let's go to earnings. There's the earnings did, did good on earnings, but pulled back, but the three and the eight are still in play. There's the open AI, sorry, not open AI, but C3 AI, the stock that's been on a tear. And again, 
it makes sense with all of this nice move up that people are probably taking profits in the stock. Doesn't mean if the stock is bad in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It just means that people are have made some money and taken it out, but the space is still hot. Let's go look at Microsoft since it talked about uh, its investment in, in, in open AI. Look at that nicely right at three month highs as of today. Let's go look at AEIQ, man. Now, very interesting. It's pulling back. Doesn't mean the space is getting cool or anything. But if you've made money in the ETF, you're probably taking money on it as well. Be careful. I'd like to make sure that if I buy into it, I buy into it on an up day. I'm going to show you one last thing before you go. Remember, I talked about the video that we did on 124 when the chat GPT news hit the market and everybody was like, "Ooh, ah, oh, we did a, a watch list of stocks. I want to show you what the, that list is doing. As of right now, from January 24th, when the video came out, here's another list of vid uh, stocks that I gave you in that video. Look at what it's doing compared to the S&P 500 with AI, that C3 AI is making the big money at the top, followed by Lemonade. The only stock that's not making money, and remember, AI is also used in the medical space. The, uh, the AI stock that's not doing, the, uh, not doing the best right now is ISRG, Intuitive Surgical, but it's only down 3.98%. Uh, Folks, this is what it's all about. Folks, we try to bring to the forefront what's working for you and where you can get in to make some money. I don't want to hear anybody say, well, it's all great that you talked about this and what it did back then. You're getting it now. All right? Think about it. You're getting it now. If you follow the channel, these videos have been timely. And you know something when you step to sit back a little bit and go, man, I want to show you what we're talking about, what we're doing. That's important because if you're not a subscriber to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. If you're not sharing this content with people in your social circles, please do. All right. If we weren't doing the right things for you, I could see that happening. But we're trying to keep you at the forefront of what's going on at all times and keep you in the know. Share this content. If you like the video, hit the like button. And last of all, let me know what you think about this video, what you think about this space. Is it just a passing fad or is it something that could stick around for years? Thank you for joining me for this video. I look forward to seeing you once again. This video is over and until the next time, see ya.